Good morning. I'm Bailey Carlisle, and I'm the documentation lead for this group. And these are my teammates, Samira, our materials engineer, James, our team leader, Trevor, our design engineer, and Lucas, our testing engineer. So today we're going to be presenting our project, Gallium Nitride Power Transistors for Solid State Relays. Gallium Nitride, or GAN, is of special interest to aerospace and space applications due to its high switching speeds and intrinsic radiation tolerance. So now Samira will talk more about Gallium Nitride Transistors. In order to ensure we meet the requirements for our project, we selected the Gallium Nitride Power Transistor from the GAN systems, and known, the model is known as GS6605AT. It provided us with the lower RDS on, and it has higher drain current, lower gate driver voltage, and also low input capacitance, which is suitable for a, which is suitable for a uh, faster switching speed. Also, the gallium nitride power transistor has similar applications like the silicon, which can be used for like the military applications, aerospace, and space system. And the gallium nitride we are using, it costs 25 times less than the silicon MOSFETs that's currently used by the micro, micro pack. And next, James is going to talk about the schematic of the solid state relay. Thank you, Samira. So figure three here shows a schematic uh, diagram level of our solid state relay color-coded by the different uh, parts that make it up. Uh, a solid-state relay, or SSR, is a high-voltage isolation switching device used to switch uh, AC or DC current to high-power loads. On uh, our diagram here, the blue on the left is a, an optocoupler, which an optocoupler uh, transmits electrical signals between two isolated circuits by using light. It takes in an input current for us, which shines a, or which powers an LED that shines onto our photovoltaic, and then the photovoltaic produces a current into our gating circuit, which consists of a resistor and two zener diodes for clamping the gate, or gallium nitride transistor. The entire solid state relay is in red, and the output of it feeds into a DC load, like we had mentioned. <coughs> and now, uh, Trevor will talk more about the detail of the design. So as Jimmy said, we use two zener diodes and a resistor that lead into the gate is because even though gallium nitride is a superior substance, it does have a relatively low uh, maximum input gate voltage. So we use two zeners to limit the voltage to the gate as well as to keep the voltage at the optimal six volts. And as well, the DC load is used for, as the switching load for the device, seeing as the switching device. And the, the resistor that ties into the gate is a pull down resistor, which uh, is helpful for gallium nitride to get the great switching speeds. And now Lucas for testing. During the testing process, we compared the GAN SSR that we designed to a MicroPak SSR. As you can see on Table 1, the GAN SSR had a shorter rise and fall time than the silicon SSR, which was accept expected. Also, the input voltage for the GAN SSR was much lower than the silicon SSR. Figures 6 and 7 show the output of the silicon and GAN SSR, respectively. <laughs> So now we'd like to open it up for questions. Question. Um, um, I think you mentioned that the, the cost of this device was 25x less than yes. silicon. Okay. How, I mean, gallium nitride is kind of an expensive um, wafer and so forth. How, can you, how did you come to that um, calculation? The uh, transistors that we used, this is what we're, what we're talking about, comparing the price specifically, it's a radiation-hardened silicon MOSFET. So the radiation hardening is what makes the MOSFET extremely expensive. It's around a $400, $400 price limit for that. While gallium nitride, we don't have to go through the extra processing to make it radiation tolerant. It's also built on a silicon substrate, um, which just gives it extra durability. But the, the gallium nitride MOS, or transistor by itself is around $16. Um, and then that's what makes it so much cheaper in case you don't have to go through the extra processing. Um, Y'all said this is for space, um, and but you have basically your gall gallium nitride fat, but yet you also have two zeners, uh, an opto transistor, a diode, and it looks like a current source. Um, all of that is silicon, I, I assume. Yes. So is. why is that not going to fail? Be, you know, in space. It's because these parts have all been tested to that they are not bothered by radiation. And so silicon fets, MOSFETs, are, they are very unstable in radiation environments. <laughs> but the, the LEDs, resistors, zener diodes have all been proven many times over many years that aren't affected by radiation. What makes your fet, um, I guess, gamma, gamma ray proof? Is that, is that, what, what are you trying to improve with your 
Well, um, it, it, most particles, uh, gamma, beta, or alpha particles, have all been tested to not affect gallium nitride on a massive scale. So whereas silicon can be affected by a thousand rads, GAN can withstand millions of rads. And there, there, there is uh, proven research by uh, JPL and Berkeley Labs that back up this. With equivalent GAN transistors that we use. Yeah. So it's ga uh, radiation testing at the level that we need to do independently would take months, like almost maybe a year to do, and it's extremely expensive, but the fact that we already have equivalent uh, te uh, testing data on it for the exact same transistors proves that it's Did, did you buy your FET, or did you make it in yeah. the lab over here? We, we bought it. We bought it. Bought yeah, the first semester was analyzing the different gallium nitride FETs that are available on the market and choosing which ones would best suit our interests. So did you also build the silicon one as well, or, or are you just doing a comparison in your data sheet? Uh, on the table one. It's a comparison. We have a uh, we have a built SSR, silicon SSR that we compare to with our uh, manufactured SSR that we designed ourselves. All right. Uh, so there, there will be more more time again. As I said, we are on a fairly tight time schedule, so we need to move on to the next um, team. Uh, if if there if you guys want to have any more interaction with the team, uh, first of all.